all right so i'm gonna share a different kind of video um i am losing 10 tons and tons of hair um i've always had tons and tons of thick hair since i've been a kid um so i still have a lot of hair but i have lost a substantial amount so on top of this i have um i have found a lump um in my collarbone area um and i'm actually seriously thinking it could be the possibility of having cancer um i've also felt a little nauseous and this has all happened super fast like within i don't know like maybe a week and this is the stuff i have like everywhere i mean last night next to my bed when i was sleeping i lost probably three to four times as much as this so with this kind of hair loss i'm thinking this is serious so you know people i've talked to a few people and they're like oh it's probably stress because you're going through so much i mean within the last three weeks we lost housing i had to go to court and battle um the illegal eviction i had to deal with um the mold that was in the home i had to deal with a dog bite um, which I'm still dealing with technically with my son. Um, I had to deal with moving quite a bit, um, staying in hotels, two nights in my car, just to save money, not that I couldn't afford a hotel. Um, I had to deal with, let's see, just like one thing after another. So, um, you know, I am hoping for the best. I'm hoping like this is just stress and, um, and it's just a coincidence at the same time i probably have um a lump because it's just it's just you know like since i've hit um my older age i just pretty much finished up having my periods so when that happens your body can change um so i'm hoping that this is just like a coincidence and not cancer but if it is cancer then as a Christian, I want to get on this right away. Um, and as a Christian, knowing, I mean, not saying as a Christian, you have to deal with it right away. But what I'm trying to say is like, um, where was I? As a Christian, I have hope. We are going to be with Christ forever in heaven. So I have nothing to worry about. And I do want to get on top of this before it gets worse. Because we know early detection is the biggest um, thing to help um with cancer my husband had cancer years ago when we had our third son back in 1996 and it was testicular cancer and he went through two surgeries with that and um that was that was a crazy time because he had the operation in september we had our son in november then he had the other surgery to remove lymph nodes in December. So it was like boom, boom, boom. And all the paperwork of getting over $25,000 worth of help with that. Um, so that's what I'm dealing with now. And it's funny in a way to think about how when you have everything happening, you can feel like Job. I, I seriously feel like Job, like I have lost everything almost and um you know you lose your home i had a situation with one of my sons that i felt like i lost him to that was another thing that fell into this just like this week um we lost um a daughter-in-law who walked out on one of my sons she just didn't want to be married anymore so there's that um which is actually for his benefit so that's not like a really awful thing and then we had, um, let me see what else. I don't know. It's just like all these things are happening. And oh, I'm down to like three outfits because um, the mold in the home affected my clothing. So I had to get rid of like everything. Um, because they say you don't want to carry your clothes or furniture or anything into another home. The furniture was hand me down. So it just got thrown in the trash. No big deal there. Um, so as I've been looking at everything and trying to figure out what is going on, I am thinking that 
it was a blessing to lose our home if I'm going to have to deal with cancer. I'm not going to have time to keep up with a home. I'm not going to have time to work. And the decision right now is, I mean, I'm working like I called in today because I'm probably going to have to call the doctor, which I never go to the doctors unless I'm dying. I mean, I did get my um, pregnancy care, prenatal care and everything, but I don't do the doctors for me. I'm very like into self-care and not going to the doctors unless I have to. Um, so I'm probably going to have to go to the doctors today. So um, this is pretty serious. And as this is happening, I'm thinking, what is really going on here? What's like really going on? And I think, you know, this may be a time of preparing to, you know, get ready to head out. And we only are passing through this world. We are not, um, we do not stay here. And I have no regrets. I poured my life out um, for my kids and my husband. And for others, I have just ministered and ministered and ministered with my life um, in many different ways, whether that was, you know, co confronting people and letting them see, you know, the, the, the heart behind things or whether it was, um, you know, giving a couple bucks to a homeless person or whatever. I've, I've run the race. That's something that's in the Bible that Paul talks about to run the race. Um, and we think of a race where only one person can win. And the Christian life is, um, tough. It, it's related to like a soldier. It's tough work. It's hard having faith. Sometimes it's hard having, um, like the discipline in life to get in the word of God when everything is pulling you away from him. Um, I had another situation that I will probably do a video on. I don't know. It's just another thing on top of this is we stayed with a family. I'm not going to mention names and they were pretty disrespectful to me and I put my foot down. So they got ticked off and, uh, were pretty rude and actually started undermining my parenting, telling my kids that they're great but their mom well that's another story because I spoke my mind and then they want my kids to stay with them without me I'm just like who in the world do you think you are to be like this I mean I feel like it's really prideful these are my kids and because we've gone through a situation of losing our home they have blown everything out of proportion with it with their perspective they've been like Oh, we don't want you guys. They they talked behind my back. We they talked to my kids without me behind my back and said we don't want you guys being on the streets and um, make sure that you know you're respectful with the next people you stay with and this and that and we would take you in in a heartbeat. And you know when there when there's some conflict and they don't want to straighten it out and they want to take my kids away. Especially with a woman who's had an abortion forced on her and it's post-abortive feelings of always feeling like you're going to lose your kids. I mean, this is just, it's so offensive to me. I could actually knock this woman out. That That's how I feel. So as a Christian, I'm trying to go to God and not, um, not act as maybe I maybe even have a right to. Um, because of the lack of respect there for me uh, and the mistreatment that I have felt. But um, but anyways, as we go through these trials, we want to go to God and we want to, you know, be in prayer. And it's hard when things keep taking you away or causing stress. And um, so that's the situation. I will keep you updated about cancer. <clears throat> And I also have other things on my channel I want to talk about, so I will be doing that.